3 I'm here with a new video <laughs> and Astrid is here okay girl I just wanted to make a quick little intro can can't I can't you let me do that here she is for you that wonders she's getting so big yeah you yeah I know I know you want to play okay hello <laughs> today I'm here with a new video and the mirrors but just a quick little intro. Hello, today. Jesus fucking Christ. Hello, today I'm here with a new video and a new part in my decluttering series. Today I am going to dig into my brushes. So I'm going to do both my face brushes and my eye brushes, and I don't know how many brushes I have. I don't want to know, but soon I will know and you will too. So yeah, I think we just hop into the brushes and I am going to my next decluttering and collection video is going to be with my eyeshadow palettes. I think I think it's the only thing that I have left actually. But yeah, just let's hop into the brushes and I have a problem. And you will see why. So now you might see my problem with having too much brushes. So these are all my face brushes. Oh, I actually have two more. Um, I got this one. And I have a smaller Kabuki brush, but I'm going to keep both of them because I use them to my... my powder foundation, so... I'm going to keep them. So these are the brushes and first I was like, okay, I'm going to go throw with them like brand to brand, but I am going to not do that because it's like I don't have everything from one brand. So yeah, I'm just going to go through my brushes. We must get this started now because this is going to take such a long time. I will do my what is it even called? My eyeshadow brushes after this, so I can leave it timestamp down in the description if you want to jump to that one. But yeah, let's go into the face brushes and I don't know where to start. Maybe I should just pick out the brushes I know that I want to keep or first we can take out these. I need to clean this. This powder puffs I have from Linda Holberg. I have three of them. I love these. I always set my under eye concealer with this, so I'm going to keep all of them. And Astrid might disturb this a little bit because she just wants to be with me. So yeah, <laughs> okay. Maybe I should find my powder brushes. So maybe I should go through like from step to step. So my powder brushes, how I'm going to do this easy. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put all the brushes on the table at the same time but if we trying to do this in somewhat a controlled way so maybe I could sort them into like powder brushes and then I go I might not need all the powder brushes I have so maybe I should do that so I just going to gather all my powder brushes and we will see what I want to keep So these are the powder brushes I have and just like a little disclaimer, you might have some of these and don't use them uh, for powder. So this is what I consider to be my powder brushes. I know one that I definitely going to keep is this one from Hiccup. I recently did a 10 brushes I would keep and I said I would keep this one. So I am definitely keeping this one. This is my absolute favorite powder brush of all time. And if you wonder about my hands, I have a kitten at home and you look like this then. So I'm sorry for that. And I also as dry as fuck because I wash my hands like every hour it feels like when I'm at work and I use hand sanitizers. So they are dry and crusty. Then I have these two that are from Real Techniques. This is supposed to be the same 
exact powder brush. I feel that this is much better. This is my old one and this is my newest one. I bought this because I didn't want this to break. So as you can see, <laughs> the color difference is pretty big. So this, that is the old one. It's so much better. I don't know if you can see it, but this one is so much round and this is a little bit more flat and I don't need both of these. I just wanted to buy a new one because I didn't want this to break, but I actually think that I will not, that I will throw away, that I will only keep this old one because this is the one I love. I don't love this as much. So I'm going to keep this and I'm going to decluttering the new one. Then we can take these two from Real Techniques. This was from the Crushed Diamonds collection, I think. And this is from the... I don't know. I am not that fond of any of these. But I actually think I like this more. But at the same time, how many powder brushes do you need? One, maybe. Maybe two. But I actually think I will keep this one. Because I like this a little bit more. And even though I don't like pink, I think this is more prettier than this. So I actually going to decluttering this one. And this are a little bit not looking that good, but yeah, decluttering this one. And then I have this one that is from NYX and this is so dirty because I like never use it. So it should be <laughs> maybe clean. So this one is from NYX. I don't actually know what I feel. Maybe I should keep it. Four powder brushes. Is that okay? Yes, that is okay. So I'm keeping four and decluttering four. So let's go into blush brushes. Okay, so these are my brushes that I use for blush. If you use something else it's totally fine with me. So I have two from Linda Holberg. These are the 310. I love this to apply blush. They are just amazing. So I'm going to keep both of these. And then I have these two from Real Techniques. Two stippling brushes. This is the normal stippling brush. And this was a limited edition they did. I use these to put on my... What is it even called? My liquid blushes. So I'm going to keep these two as well because these stains like really quick with liquid or stick blushes. So I want to keep them both. And I forgot this one. This I also use for my liquid blush or my cream blushes. This is from Hiccup. I'm going to keep this one as well because it is amazing for cream blushes, especially my Natasha Denona. And I thank Jessica for the tip for this. So keeping this one. This one I also want to keep. This is from uh, Real Techniques. It's the Crush Diamonds. I think it is the name of the collection. I really love this with my blushes with my blush from uh, Milani. This picks up so good when you have like a doom, like a baked blush. This works amazing. So I'm going to keep this. Then we have this old trusty from Real Techniques. This is one of my oldest blush brushes. I have used the clown blush from Likely Makeup, the yellow one. I actually think I'm going to keep this one as well. Because I really, really like this. Also from Hiccup, I have this tapered blush brush. I'm going to keep this one as well. And then I have this. This is a really, really old one. From... Uh, I think it is a Swedish brand. Apolosophy. This is this... I don't think it's called... It's an angled brush. I haven't used this much and the handle is I have this with some of my real techniques it's like something on the handle has getting sticky is getting old and it's disgusting to hold so I'm going to cluttering that one 
And then I have this one from Real Techniques. I don't even know what it's called. I usually don't only use this for blush. Sometimes I use it for powder. Sometimes I use it with my powder foundation. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile because I might not keep this, but I will see what other brushes I have. So these are my contour brushes and some of them are angled, some of them are not. Yeah. One I know with 100% that I'm going to keep is this one. This is from Real Techniques. It's their faux blue. I love this for contour. It's my absolute favorite brush when it comes to contour, so I would never in my life decluttering this one. I also want to keep both of these. These are from Real Techniques. These are just their contour brush, and this is amazing for my stick contour from Milk. So I'm going to keep these two as well. Then I have this one from Real Techniques that is their sculpting brush. I actually really like it. I think this was one of my first like typical contour brushes. So I'm going to keep this one as well. This is going great. I'm also going to keep this one from Beach Cosmetics because I just love it. And I'm going to keep this one as well from Hiccup. This is an angled kabuki. I use this for my contour, so I'm going to keep it. And now the keep pile is getting overhead. But where should I put you then? Can I put you here without showing you? I cannot. This is a struggle for me. And then I also have this from Hiccup. I actually think I will decluttering this one. I, I don't like this. Do you see it's like really chopped off? I don't know what this is supposed to be for, but I guess for contour, but I don't, this is not something that I want to use. I have had this for a while because it was in a kit that I bought, haven't used it more than once I think, so I'm going to declutter this one. So these are my highlighter brushes, I at least think, and here I know I'm going to keep like the most of them. We can start with these two from Linda Holberg. This is the 306, my absolute favorite when it comes to highlighter. So definitely keeping these two. And I'm also going to keep my Sigma. 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 This is the high cheekbone F03. This is perfect for color pops, super shock chic. So this is I'm going to keep. And this is a new favorite. This is from Nabla. It's their highlighting brush. Love this. Going to keep it. And I'm also going to keep the Kaleidos H1. This is amazing with Kaleidos own highlighters. So keeping that one. This small stippling brush I use for my stick highlighters it's really really good with it so keeping this because this is the only small stippling brush i have then we are down to these this is from elf this is a blush brush from the beginning i think it's too small as a blush brush so i've used it for highlighter but i actually think that i will decluttering this one haven't used it in such a long time I have this from Real Techniques. This is an angled highlighting brush. I think this is too small. I might use it for something else, but I don't know what. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. Then this one from Hiccup. I can't remember if this is a highlighter brush, but I think it is, and I have used it for highlighter, so I am going to keep it. Then we have this old trusty from Real Techniques. This is super old. It, the bristles, it's nothing wrong with it. It still looks really good, but you see here. I don't know if any of you that have a lot of Real Techniques, have you ever had this ever happen to your brushes? This is of my oldest ones. I have had this for maybe five or six years, so I am not surprised that it looks like this. I actually think it's time for this to go because I can't handle I can't handle the handle so I'm actually going to decluttering this even though it's really really good. And now I just have a lot of brushes left that I don't use that much so I think it's just time for the rest of them.
Okay, so I would say that this is a mix of everything and <laughs> it's just that I don't use this brush, these brushes that much. So I don't have it like a typical powder brush, a typical highlight brush, a typical blush brush because I don't use them that much. But I think there are some of these that I'm going to declutter. I might. This is a highlighting brush, I think. No, target blending brush. This I think is really good to use with highlighter and also with concealer underneath my eyes. So I'm going to keep it actually. And then this one I'm going to do the cluttering. I don't like this. This is a pointy foundation brush. And like, who the hell puts on foundation with this one? Decluttering it. I have these angled brushes that I could use either for blush maybe or contour. I think I'm actually going to keep this from Luxie and start to use it because I think I've used it twice. And this one, this one, I don't think I like ever have used this. So decluttering this one. And do I need this in my life? I don't know. But okay, I'm going to keep this one as well. And then, what do we have more? I have some, oh yeah, this I'm going to be gathering. This is a tapered foundation brush. And for you that don't know, I only use a sponge for my foundation. So it's no use for me to have a foundation brush and not like that. So these two look so similar. I think these are my same, yeah. Multitask brush from Read Techniques. Two of them, they look pretty similar. You can see that they are from two different time zones. I almost said two different times. So is any of these getting yucky? I don't need two. I think I'm only going to keep this one and decluttering this one. And now the brushes are falling over there. I think, I think we just have to live with that. Then I have some that I usually use with my powder foundation sometimes. This one from Hiccup, so I'm going to keep that one. And oh my god, now it's getting too much. And also I sometimes use this one, keeping it. And then we will see. This is a cheap brush from Real Techniques. Do I ever feel like the need to use this? I guess not. I put it in the maybe pile. This is an expert face brush from Real Techniques. This is one of my oldest one as well. I actually used this for foundation a long time back. The handle is getting sticky, so maybe it's time for this one to go. And then this is a buffing brush. It's getting sticky as well. I think it's time to let go of this as well. Is this going good or bad? I don't know. I'm going to keep this one from Hiccup. This is supposed to be a highlighter brush. I think I might use it to set my foundation under my eyes or my concealer. Multitask chic. Multitask chic brush from Real Techniques. What am I going to use this for? I don't know. I'm decluttering it. This is going good actually. This is a small like denser brush. I think I'm actually going to keep it. This is... Are you losing some hair? No. I'm going to keep this one as well. Don't ask me why. And then this one. This is a buffing brush. Did I decluttering the other buffing brush? I think I might did, and I go to decluttering this as well because I never use it. So okay, I think we're going to count we that I'm going to count everything in the end, so we can both count the face brushes, or maybe I should. Yeah, I count it in the end and. Before the final decluttering, I'm going to go through my maybe pile because I might have some eyebrow, some eye brushes that is a maybe as well. 
So let's go into the eye brushes. So these are my eye brushes and this is why I want to do the decluttering because you see it doesn't like even fit. I have tried to separate them in such a stupid way. This is the brushes like I never use and these are the brushes that I really like. Why do I have these left? I don't know but we are going through these and I'm going to go through from like shape to shape. Okay, so we can start with my eyeshadow brushes and I'm missing two. The one that I use every day, it is not here, but I'm going to keep it. It's from Beach Cosmetics. And the one that I really love, that I have no idea where it is, it's from Real Techniques, but I'm going to keep this that one as well. So we're just going through these and nobody needs these many eyebrow brushes. And I know that some of these I could use together with uh, like doing a liner, but do you do how often I do a liner? Like never. So I am actually going to decluttering two from Linda Holberg. This is the free, free, free. I never use this. Or maybe I should keep one of them. Yeah, I keep one and decluttering one. Then I have this one from Real Techniques. I don't like it. I have cut it a little bit. It didn't went good. I bought it like on a super sale. I'm going to decluttering that one. And this one from Hiccup. This is so freaking big and it is for eyebrow and not going to use it. Decluttering that one. And I'm also going to decluttering this one from Sueva. This is brow brow line so I guess both for liner and brows this is too big for my brows I don't like it and that is how it goes when you buy eyebrow brushes online I think I might keep the rest so this is from H&M I think this is a really good shape I like them not too long and not too big. So I'm going to keep this one. I also going to... No, this one I'm going to declare. This is from Revolution. Declaring that one. This is from Nabla. This is one of my newest ones. I'm going to keep it. This is from Kicks on Brand. Keeping it. And this one. This is from a brand that is no longer available. It was a Swedish influencer that did her own brand or a Swedish YouTuber. I'm going to keep this one because what I can remember, I really like it. I need to clean it though, I see, but I'm going to keep this. And this one, I don't even know where it's from. I'm going to decluttering this one. Kinda smooth. So let's go into crease brushes. These are my crease brushes. Oh my god. I am at least going to keep these four from Beach Cosmetics. These are my absolute favorite crease brushes. These are going nowhere. Can I put them here or do you see them? Yes, you see them. Oopsie. Then I also think I want to keep these two, these are from Oleans, it's a Swedish store. I These were like the first crease brushes I fall in love with, so I'm, going, so I'm going to keep these. Then I have from Real Techniques, I have four of the same brush in four different collections. So these are the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I am not needing four. I don't even know if I need one of them because I never like use them. But I might actually keep two. So I keep the two that looks the most fresh. So I'm keeping these two and decluttering these two. And then I have some smaller 
at least for me, that I like to deepen down my crease with. So I have this from Real Techniques, keeping it. I also love to do it with this one from NYX. This is number 16. It's a really good crease brush. And I have this one. I'm not going to keep. This is from TK. It's a Swedish brand. I just don't like this crease brush. So declaring it. I also have this from Real Techniques. And this from H&M. These three are kind of similar so it's real techniques h&m and kaleidos i think i will decluttering this one from real techniques and keep these two then i have this is a new brush for me it's from a switch brand called flare and this is the tapered blending brush keeping this one and I'm going to keep this from Kaleidos. This is the S1. And I'm also going to keep these two from Nabla. I really like these. I bought a kit from Nabla. These are really, really good. I am going to decluttering this one from Real Techniques. I usually use this under my eyes or to like really have a harsh, harsh line in my crease. Don't use this anymore so i'm going to decluttering it then i have this one from black moon cosmetics this is the biggest blending brush or crease brush i have ever seen <laughs> i'm going to keep it though because i love how it looks and i might going to try it someday we will see and then i have this small one and oh, it's dirty here i have this small one i think i will I keep it and now it's like I don't know in which order so maybe just oh I had one more crease brush I have this one from Hiccup going to keep it and okay okay I know what category we are going into we are going into like the same brush from Re Techniques over and over and over again these four are the same brush in four different collections and these are kind of the same but not the same i'm going to keep this one at least this is an angled base eyeshadow brush i don't know about this one this is a dune shadow brush i think this is a little bit like too thick for my likings so declaring this one and then these four that are the same but in different collection i really like these this was one of the first eyeshadow brushes i really 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 liked so i might yeah i'm going to decluttering this one this was my first it's sticky on the handle so i'm going to keep it free this is not going as good as i planned and now we can take maybe like brands because i don't know what to do <laughs> so these are my linda holberg brushes i am going to keep all of them this is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow brushes for from all times this is the free or free by linda holberg i have one two three four and i also really love the free or four i have three I'm going to keep them because i never will get rid of them i don't know about this though this is like an angled eyeliner brush have i used it no because i never do but i think i might keep this one because i have some that are similar and i can decluttering them and keep this one so i will keep all of these so it's <laughs> time for some just random eyeshadow brushes and do you know what i found i found two more of the base shadow brush that i had apparently six of then i think i'm going to keep both of these then we have two brushes here from wet n wild i don't support wet n wild anymore i like never use these so i am actually going to declutter them i have this super old elf eyeshadow brush that then we have 
some that I know that I want to keep. I want to keep this from Body Shop. This is actually really good. And it has, it's like this double-ended. I only use this one, but it is really good, so I'm keeping it. I'm also going to keep these two from Beauty Bay. It's ombre. We like them, actually. Yeah, you want to be in the video more. Then I bought this one from Colourpop. This is so, so big. It is too big for me. And I'm going to decluttering that. I also think that I want to decluttering these two. These are actually pretty new to me. I bought them from Beauty Bay. It's BH Cosmetics. I thought they were going to be smaller. I hate that they can't be like a size. Or like the measurements for the brushes. Because it's hard from a picture when you can't compare them to anything so I'm actually going to decluttering these two because they are too big for me this one I'm going to keep it's from Sigma this was the size I was going for so this one is really good and also this one from Hiccup is going to stay these two new from the Swedish Brand Flare is going to stay. The Nabla one is staying. The Kaleidos is staying. This Real Techniques brush, I love this. Staying. And also, I think this one is a brow highlighting brush. This would be amazing for shimmers, I think. Keeping it. And also this from H&M, that it's really, really good. Okay, so these... These are the ones that are left. I have a lot of these, like, like these eyeliner brushes. I am only going to keep that one from Linda Holberg, so I'm taking out the ones that I don't need anymore then. Maybe it was just two. I'm going to declaring this one as well. this one as well maybe I should yeah I have some of oh here is one more I'm going to cluttering. then I have some of these small brushes that is super good to go do cut creases with I'm going to keep all of them so I have one here and that one one maybe that was all no, this one this one I'm going to decluttering this is some sheep ass brushes I bought from eBay a long time ago I'm keeping these and I'm going to decluttering this one I don't even know where I got it from So what am I also going to decluttering? I'm going to decluttering this sheep as brush, sheep as brush. I'm also going to decluttering this wet and wild one. And this brush, have you ever seen such a small brush before? I don't even know if the camera can pick it up. Hello? I don't know what to do with this, but might. Put some glitter in my inner corners. I actually think I will keep this one. The smallest brush in my collection. Things I don't want to have anymore. I think this one from H&M. It's so old. And what do you, I think I'm going to decluttering all these from Echo Tolls. These are some like concealer brushes. And I just don't know. I don't use them. So I'm decluttering them. I'm also going to need kind of one more of these from ELF. The cluttering pile is growing. I'm going to have these left. These are from Flare. Really love them. I'm going to keep like all my pencil brushes, I think. I don't think I know. So I'm keeping 
I keeping all of these. I love to have these underneath my eyes or have them in my inner corner. So it's good to have them because they are always getting so dirty. So keeping all of these. I think I might decluttering these two. These are from Body Shop. I have gotten them in advent calendars from Body Shop. Have kept my crease with this one I can see. And might with this one as well. Maybe they are good to pick up glitter with but nothing. I have things already. I think I'm going to keep the rest of these. Oh here is a small other crease brush. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep all of these. I really like all of these brushes. And you know what? That was all. We go back to the maybe pile. So I only had four brushes in the maybe pile. I'm going to keep two and decluttering two. I think I'm going to keep these two. And decluttering these two. So okay, I am going to count how, or I can show you how many I have declutter. Declutter. Okay, so I'm decluttering all of these, and I think that is pretty good. So I am going to count them in some way, shape or form. is 52 okay it's, so it's now I don't want to count how many brushes I have but okay I am decluttering 52 brushes so let's count how many I have left Four eyeshadow brushes. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go over to the face brushes. So 74. 35. So I have 109 brushes. I had over 150 brushes. I didn't know I had this many brushes. So okay. It's too much, I know, but I have them. So, yeah, <laughs> this was me declaring my brushes. I hope you like this. So, okay, this is all my brushes. I have a lot of brushes, I know. I really hope you like this video and I am going to do my eyeshadow palette collection. See what I think. I it's always like one palette more coming in, so it's really hard to know when I'm going to do it. But I think I just need to do it, and then I can do it once more, maybe in half a year or something. So yeah, this was my makeup brushes decluttering. I really hope you liked this video, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.